How you got the deal, man? It's your truly Stewie. Jay Nicks, the Flies guy on the radio. As you know, you know, I'm with a um a West Side legend. You know what I mean? He's been doing big things in these streets, you know what I'm saying, forever and ever and ever, and still overly relevant as far as in this music game and still motivated to put out this amazing music and represent the South classic album. Grammy nominated. Killer Mike's in the building. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, man? What's up, what's, what's up man? You, what's up? How you feeling, dude? I'm feeling like I got the rap album of the year, you know. Come on, as you should. As you yeah, should. Absolutely. So what made it what motivated you to really like put your foot in this? Because it's like at the end of the day, like you always put out good product. That's that's never been a situation where we can ever yeah. doubt your product and, and what you put out. But this album is a little bit different. Um, you got features on there that a lot of people wouldn't even expect. Future. Um, I want, man. Come on, yeah, future, future and Dre. Yeah, future and stacks of scientists and engineers, which that song was nominated or is nominated for best rap performance, best rap song. The album is nominated for best rap album. I totally agree with that nomination. I want to bring all three of those home to Atlanta, and I especially right. want to bring the, the rap album. But beyond those features, man, which that's all Dungeon Family. So if you Dungeon Family, that yeah. makes sense. So I was, right. I was honored. My I was honored. My bro Dre w was heard the album and was motivated to say, "Let me jump on and, and bring you me something," and, and then go grab the brother Future. But man, we got Jacquees, JID, mm -hmm. and Tip on the same song mm -hmm. on the deluxe version. We got me and Nudie. We got one. You know mm -hmm. that's amazing. We got a gospel choir all throughout here. Aaron Allen Kane all throughout here. Lena Bird, Miles. You know what I mean? We got Black on here. You know we got you know, Blast from out west. We got Ty Dollar. We and none of it was about hey let me let me go find out what a what a budget could go grab. It was about people coming through here in the album getting genuinely inspired, saying let me find somewhere to get myself. People are young and as dope as Fouché and Cash Page. And people that are that are seasoned veterans, you know, like like CeeLo Goody, my big bro. Come so, on, you know, if, if you guys hadn't heard Michael, do yourself a favor, man, and hit a rap album of the year. Hear Michael. What I'm trying to tell you, because you're kicking that flavor, you're kicking that, and you, and you brought it in a way where I feel like the generation now, um, they tend to, if you rap too much, they'd be like, wait a minute. But you yeah. did just enough. Like, how how was it maneuvering through to making sure that every every bar hit, every everything was uh, meaningful? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people just be, sometimes a lot of people just be rapping. But you yeah, rap, yeah, yeah, rap your style, man. You know, it's style. It's like I don't as a, I don't really want you to rap how we rap twenty years ago, and you're not gonna rap how they gonna rap twenty years from now. Right. What you got to do is just find your style and styles. I done heard. I'd have heard rappers that I love their style. 15 years ago, that was a totally different rapper. Five years ago, that was a totally different rapper. So as a rapper, as a musician, don't never be afraid to, 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 to pivot your style. Don't never be afraid to get people different. The Michael that's rapping on Slummer is not the same killer Mike from 20 years ago. You know, okay. in the in the middle of the crunk era, I was still a lyricist, but it was the crunk era. So your your beats was crunk, your your mm. hooks was big. You were saying. A lot of dark, violent stuff, you know what right, I mean. Right. And and you fast forward to you know twenty years later, I'm a, I'm 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 more seasoned. I, I I leaned more into my ball and G bag than I did my little John bag, you know. So still getting inspired by the South, but getting inspired by a player aesthetic. And, and on Slumber, I'm talking a, a record about you know just getting out there too young, living like you grown, having uh -huh. to have you know an abortion. But but it but the vibe feels so so player so nineties in terms of what Jagged Edge brought to it in terms of what the track is. So for me, man, with young people, man, it's just about style. So don't be afraid to push y'all style. And, and, us, and us dudes that have been in the game a little longer, don't be afraid to try new style. Okay. So that, definitely down by law for show, for show. Um, so my question is, what would you tell some of the older guys? I, I feel like some of the seasoned rappers that have been in the game for a long time, they tend to, um, especially in hip hop, we have an age on it. Like for whatever reason, we 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 forget that we are musicians. It's no different than rap. It's no different than rock. It's no different yeah. than R&B. If you can sing, you can sing. If you can rap, you can rap. If you create yeah. music, because it's an art. What would you tell some of these young guys? Be like, I mean, older guys, be like, man, I'm too, I'm too this or too that because you come. We OG, Mike. Come on now, we've been around for a man. long time. Man, like too short, like like too short, like, like too short. Still, when I was a teenager, don't stop rapping. Mm. That's it. Like that's it. Like I just heard my man, um, Larry June. I just heard short and, and on a new one with him. It's like, man, this ain't never got to stop till you wanted to stop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, man. Like it, it ain't never got to stop to you. But you got to understand that you're not the 21, 27, 28 year old that's out. 
So stop trying to do what they do and define whatever you're doing and do that. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell the younger, the younger squad too. If you do something where where you hear an OG on it, don't be afraid to throw the OG on it. I love Hit Boy and his old man Big Hit. I love what they've done. I love the fact that when I go to a Killer Mike concert, I have dads and moms like, hey man, this is my kid first concert. I want them to, to, to see you first. You know, I'm in a group called Run the Jewels. Man, mm-hmm. our fans are as young as high school and as old as dudes that's older than us because for whatever reason, our music hit a broad base of people. And Michael, as an album, is hitting a broad base of people. So I ain't got no advice except don't stop rapping because that's what Short mm-hmm. told me.